everyone. Welcome back to this edition of Make It With Mod Podge. Today I have a really fun, quick home decor craft. I'm gonna be showing you how you can cover clay pots with fabric using Mod Podge. This project is super simple to do. It's fun for an upcycling of an old pot you may have around, or you can grab a new pot and your favorite fabrics, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. You guys ready to get started? So for this project, we're gonna be using cotton fabrics. You can use any kind of print that you want. You can use heavy decorator weight or you can use thinner cotton weight fabrics, uh, quilting weight uh, fabrics. And we're gonna use matte Mod Podge. You can also use fabric gloss or satin. And we're gonna use a clean clay pot. Now this project is best for uh, either faux plants or if you want to put a plant inside like let's say you have a planter then it would go inside of here to make them a little bit more durable if you wanted to on the outside you could use your outdoor mod podge formula or your dishwasher safe formula but for this i'm using faux plants so i'm just going to be using mod podge in matte so to get started you want to take your clay pot and a scrap piece of paper and just make a very rough pattern of the pot and you'll do that by wrapping paper around it and just marking it off and trimming it just to create that shape. And don't worry about your overhang, we're gonna just cut that out. So once you have your pattern of your shape of your pot, you'll be ready to cut out your fabric. And I'm using this really cute, it's not great fabric, sort of peach fabric. It's a little bit heavier weight. And what you'll do is cut your fabric larger than your pattern. So you can see I've got a good couple of inches across the top and a couple of inches at the bottom. Now because these edges aren't ever going to be seen, you don't need to worry about them being perfect. That's why when I'm patterning, I just do the shape of the pot and I go ahead and freehand cut the tops and bottoms. And I also have a little bit of extra on the sides just so that it can overlap in the back. And let me show you what that looks like. So you see we've got just an overlap seam back there. So you're always gonna have a backside to this. But most of the prints I find they just blend together. So we're going to apply our matte Mod Podge directly to the pot. And the easiest way to do this is just to hold the pot in your arm. And we're gonna go ahead and start applying. It's really simple. This is a great beginner craft. This is a really fun way just to add a pop of seasonal color into your home decor. So right now I'm doing these fun kind of summer colors and summer fruits, but you know, you could easily switch this out, make one for fall using fall prints. There's so many great fabrics out there. And there's lots of fun licensed fabrics too. If you love Star Wars, you go get some Star Wars fabrics, <laughs> make yourself a Star Wars pot. Okay, let's add a little bit more across the top. I'm making sure that I'm getting that under lip there. Don't worry about the bottom yet. We're gonna do that in step two. And get that top lip and work all the way around. And you wanna work pretty quickly. You can already see it's starting to dry a little bit on this side. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit more. We're looking pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is just layer fabric down and let's start. You know what, I'm gonna do it over here. Normally I would do it myself, but for camera I want you guys to be able to see this. Now you're just gonna fold that up and we're going to roll this back, just like so. And as we roll it, I wanna go in. And you can see I can pick it up and move it. You've got some time and some play. And you wanna get underneath that lip and just start smoothing it down but really making sure you're getting that lip area. Go ahead and smooth down. And when you get to the end, you're gonna cut away any of your excess. So I'm at the end here, and it looks like I have freehanded a little bit too much extra flap. So here's my seam. So I wanna go in, I'm just gonna trim a little bit away. Again, this is all freehand. So if you wanna be super precise, you could use a ruler 
but I actually find it's a lot easier when I've cut a specific pattern. Sometimes I don't lay it down exactly right, so you wanna have a little bit more. It's more forgiving to have a little bit more than, than to be just on the edge. Now we're gonna go in and add some of our Mod Podge right there. And just flap that over. And the Mod Podge is gonna dry clear. So we got that, that's our back section there. That's gonna be our back seam. But you can see it just, it really just disappears. Okay, so it looks pretty good. We don't have any wrinkles. If you did have a wrinkle, you would just keep working it out like that. You can pick up and move your fabric a little bit. You do have a little bit of time and play. So once that's done, we're going to turn it upside down and I'm gonna trim a tiny bit off of here. Not too much. We're gonna be gluing these flaps down. So I wanna trim just a little bit away. And again, it's better to have too much and trim away than it is to be too precise because if you don't land it perfect, then you end up a little bit short. Okay, so now we're just gonna go in and we're gonna add our Mod Podge. I hope you guys can see that good. Add our Mod Podge to the inside, just like so. And now we'll start to fold in and really working on that edge because you don't want to have too many creases there. So you just want to kind of go slowly and work that around. Then at the end here, let's add a little bit more under there, just like so. Now we'll add a little tiny bit, just kind of in there, just to kind of glue those down. And then usually when I'm finished, completely finished, I like to cut a felt circle and just glue it to the bottom just to seal it up. Now, if you're doing these for like craft fairs or something like that, you definitely wanna put a finished bottom on it. That's a good place if you have a logo or something, you could glue a little cardboard that has your logo on there just to finish it off. And now for the top edge, we're gonna do a similar thing, but we're just going to loop our fabric right to the inside. So let's do that next. So for this, I wanna go around, grab that top edge, just like so. Add a little Mod Podge there. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit to the inside. You don't need too much, because again, we're using these for faux plants. If you wanted to use a real plant, make sure you use one that has a liner inside of it. That way you're watering in the liner. Now we're gonna just start to fold over. And the same way with the bottom, you just wanna make sure you're kind of working around. You don't wanna get too many creases. So just kind of let the fabric do its work. It usually has a little bit of give. So if you just keep moving it around, like see I've got kind of a wrinkle there. So I just pick it up and kind of move it around. Keep going. And get this edge down. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit. You can add a little bit to right there and just inside. Go ahead and glue that flap down. I got Mod Podge flying, guys. And then we'll just press all those down. Now, sometimes I've gone in and um, taken a second swipe at it. If you've got some longer pieces, you can just add a little Mod Podge to it just to glue it down. Got one more wrinkle to get out there. There we go. So that is how quickly you can cover a pot. Let's take a look at some of the ones that we did. You wanna see the inside there? We got our inside flap. We got our bottom, everything's got to dry. So it's gonna dry pretty, um, pretty quickly. I'd say in about a couple of hours, it will be dry and ready to go. Now, if you wanna give it a top coat, you can, but I like to do the top coating once it's completely dry. If you want to top coat it, all you're going to do, and, and for top coating, it's a personal preference. I'm not gonna be washing this, this is seasonal decor. But let me just go ahead and show you. For top coating, you'll go right over your project. I like to go underneath the lip first, so I get that area. And then you'll just go straight down onto your project. If you're using gloss, you're gonna get a little bit more shine out of it. If you're using matte, like this here, this will dry perfectly matte and clear. So it looks a little cloudy and foggy right now, but it's gonna dry clear. Um, now again, if you wanted to have something that was more outdoorsy or durable, you would want to top coat it with the outdoor formula. 
So let's take a look at some of our cute designs. We've got this great pink checkered peach, so fun. And I love this one. It's got a little bit of a lattice work. And then of course we've got our all, all over peach design. So for this, I chose three fabrics that coordinated together. So they'll look really cute spread across my living room, but you do you find your favorite fabrics and create some fun pots for your house. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'll be back next week with another fun video and another fun Mod Podge technique. Make sure you use those hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts so that everybody at Plaid can see what you're making. Have a great day.